Gradually, Erhua grew up. Lao Yu's car was finally built. Erhua was afraid that he would fall down, so he always watched over him. With the card, Lao Yu decided to go to town and set up a stall to repair home appliances. He didn't want Erhua to go with him, but Erhua didn't trust him, so he followed him secretly. He waited for Lao Yu to go far away and then followed him again. When we got to town, the owner of the repair shop wouldn't let Lao Yu set up his stall in front of his shop. Hey! Hey! Er Hua saw his master being bullied behind the wall and rushed out. He shouted at the owner of the shop. The owner was a bit scared. Lao Yu didn't want to cause trouble, so he changed to a remote place. He stood guard here for a day with no business. There was a hill on the way home. Lao Yu couldn't get up it with all his might. Suddenly, the bike slipped. Just as it was about to roll over, Er Hua rushed over. And so Er Hua became Lao Yu's coachman. Years passed quickly. Er Hua never left Lao Yu. The place they went most often was the lake. Every time they went there, Lao Yu would tell Er Hua stories about his past. When Lao Yu was young, he also had a favorite girl. Xiao Feng was the prettiest girl in the village. At that time, in order to save up money to marry her, he went to the lake in winter to cut reeds and sell them for money. The water was so cold that he couldn't feel his lower body. He cried out desperately, but no one came to his rescue. He was not treated in time, so he was disabled for life. Xiao Fan also abandoned him. A fact, Er Hua also has a favorite dog. It's this white dog. Er Hua's thoughts were obvious to Lao Yu. He said, After that, Er Hua took Lao Yu back with him 